Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Azure Soul back at it again with another Honkai Star Wars video. This one's going to be a bit different than our usual Honkai Star Wars videos. We're going to be doing a sort of lore slash speculation type of video here today. Now, for those that can't be bothered to pay attention in game or just looking for more info, we're going to be talking about the next set of villains in this game for the 2.0 era patches. And that's the Annihilation Gang from what we've seen so far. We've recently had an official video introducing us to the Everflame Mansion faction of the Annihilation Gang, which we ourselves have had a previous encounter with the leader himself in the latest 1.6 patch during Dr. Ratio's questline. They're a group of individuals whom are on the path of destruction. Not exactly though. You see, they worship Nanook, the Aeon of Destruction, but he don't care about them like that. Like at all. He couldn't give a rat's ass about these guys. Um, the reason for this, at least the in-game databank section states, that this is because their thirst for destruction isn't pure enough. Chaotic desires are mixed in, for example taking pleasure in the slaughter of others, and some even using destruction as a sort of excuse to calm the chaos slash madness in their own mind, to sort of appease it I guess. Another reason is that a lot of the members of the gang still follow their own selfish desires over actual destruction itself, what destruction represents in this game's universe when it comes to worshipping Nanook and destruction. Despite all this, with Nanook not looking at them, they still go around popping peeps and doing stuff the bad guys bent on destruction like to do. The gang itself is actually formed by two factions, the Etherflame Mansion, which is in the trailer, and the Japella Brotherhood. You may recognize his name as it was in the lore trailer quite some time ago featuring the Stellaron Hunters, namely Kafka, being accused of hella crimes. They end up inciting the Japella Rebellion right then and there, which according to Dr. Ratio, calls the Brotherhood's downfall. These two factions actually do not get along at all, despite belonging to the same group. They're actually arch enemies. Now, the Annihilation Gang members we've been introduced so far consist of Akash, Dubra, Katarina, and Constance. Yet the only character we have solid information on who was also in the trailer so far is the leader, Ifrit, the Duke Inferno, or Ifrit. I might be botching that. In game they said Ifrit, but I play too much Final Fantasy, so I'm probably going to be saying Ifrit, you know, apologies. Anyway, he's someone we're already acquainted with by the story quest that I mentioned earlier, 1.6, the patch we're currently on, Dr. Rachel's quest line. If you haven't done it yet, go do it. If you have, keep listening in because it's going to be spoilers. So in this quest, what we know about the Duke Inferno Ifrit is um, he was teleporting people in the space station using a special flame that can shift through phases. It is said in the booklet that we found that it burns through worlds, leaving Scions behind. One of these Scions is Ifrit, he's like a descendant. However, Skrulum, who has had an encounter with the phase flame before, told us that Ifrit's flame is merely a splinter of the primordial phase flame, due to only teleporting people somewhere else within the station. But Skrulum's convo with Dr. Ratio at the end of the quest makes me think that Ifrit may be able to use the full power of the phase shift flame in person, since we know by this point the Dr. Ratio was intervening in where he was actually trying to teleport these researchers in the story. We also know that he is a fire demon life form from the planet Fatora, but that planet's been destroyed for a long time. Surprise, surprise, his race, as we mentioned, just like the gang, worships the nuke of destruction, but as we said, the nuke don't even be looking their way. So it's not too surprising why his planet's been destroyed for a long time, because they worship destruction, they probably destroyed it themselves, let's be honest. Don Hung also stated in a text that Ifrit rolls to the position of clan leader quite easily. So yeah, it's a bit sus, probably due to his flame, you know. As for the other four members of the Everflame mansion that we know of, we've only heard tidbits of how Ifrit recruited them in their recent trailer. What we do know is Constance seems to be his favorite as he claimed that she was his most ambitious and exceptional child. I believe this is because she is most likely a fire demon herself, as she has two horn-like features on her face and a demon tail that had flames on it during the trailer. Dubra also seems to sort of look like a fire demon when you see what Dubra really looks like uh, near the end of it. So guys, what do you think? I don't know about you all, but I thought the Stellaron Hunters were originally gonna be like our main enemy faction in this game back in the 1.0 days, but as time has progressed, they have become obvious anti-heroes as the story's continued so far. In 1.6, the Duke Inferno did officially declare war, and in this trailer, he ordered his members to pretty much lay waste to Pentaconi during its grand celebration coming up. I do wonder myself if the Annihilation Gang will only be in 2.0, or if they are this game's Fatui equivalent. And by that, I mean maybe we'll have run ins with them on the regular throughout the next couple of years in the game's story. Or will they literally just be here for this Pentaconi arc era of quests, and then that's it? I do know one thing though. If Katarina and Constance aren't playable later down the line, I'm throwing hands with Hoyoverse. I need the waifus. I need that Boncho Katarina 
Joe Tello style waifu and the way Constance was looking at us in that trailer you know what I'm saying you know that's what I'm gonna say anyway uh that's all for today I hope this video brought some value and insight into your day let me know what you guys think down below are these guys here to stay or are they just here for the 2.0 era of story quests hope to see you on the next one and have yourselves a good one